Hello, this is Jay from Brain and Neuroplasticity. On January 13th, 2018, we'll be discussing the cerebellum. Just to give you a quick overview, uh, when we looked at the brain, like the cortex, uh, it was then going to feed into the brain stem, like a, a big bunch of vase of flowers, kind of. And from these areas here, um, the nerves are continuous into the spinal cord and um, in the spinal cord there's some nerve cells all along down the cord and this information gets passed down from the brainstem. When we looked at the brainstem there were three main areas. We had a um, activation area and an inhibitory area so one that activates the system, one that depresses the system and um, this area we associated uh, with eye function so the way the eyes move and the way the pupils dilate uh, are all functions in this area. We had in the middle area, we had the vestibular system. The vestibular system was also the area that fires down and spirals, spirals your spinal intrinsic musculature. And uh, this was also linked to your inner ear, so your balance centers. And these areas here are like the vagal centers here, which give you the main inhibitory uh, input along the cord also to um, inhibit the sympathetic system. Now, when we look at the cerebellar areas, the cerebellum is actually nothing but an outpouching of this vestibular system. So the cerebellum itself, let me just um, show you where it would lie. If we would have the um, uh, look at, at where it would be placed, it would be effectively next to the areas of the brainstem, meaning that in this area here, you'd have the actual cerebellum, which uh, communicates directly to these vestibular areas back and forth. So there's a main switch relay going from these areas back and forth and these are always connected to the higher centers here and the movement centers there. So the main job of the cerebellum is such that the cerebellum is going to receive information that comes from the same side of the uh, musculature and joints. It's going to receive this information and it's going to um, integrate this into these centers and it's going to correlate it to the opposite brain. So with this um, three-way street between the joints, the cerebellum and the brain, we have an a idea of where we are located based on also our visual system and also the position of our joints. So it's a five-way system that communicates constantly to tell us where we are. So we'll be looking at common dysfunctions of the cerebellum as it refers to gait and balance and in the practical we'll de demonstrate different ways to do tests that they can show you how to address these issues. 